Welcome, my friends, and thanks for joining me. I'm Lorna Schumann with the Illinois State Museum, and today we're in the Changes exhibit at the Maine Museum in Springfield. And we're gonna talk about animals and plants and what are the differences by looking at some of our exhibits. So if I asked you the question today, what is the difference between a plant and an animal, what would you say? It might seem relatively easy, because I bet many of you can. However, there might be some that are really challenging for you. Well, let's look at it. Plants. What does a plant have? What do you think, my friends? Sounds good. I can hear some correct answers out there. Great job. So one, a plant has to have some part of it generally is green. And the other thing is, is plants they can't pick up and just move wherever they want. In other words, they can't pull their roots out of the ground, walk along the top of the soil and put their roots someplace else. Pretty much when they are someplace, they have to stay that place so they can't move. But the other thing that plants do is that they don't have their own shelter. So they don't have to go out of the, the storms or the rain or the snow. They're in those all the time. And the other part is, is that they get their food and water and they make it inside their bodies. So that's one thing about plants. The other thing is for animals, they have to have food and shelter in order to survive. So they have to move from place to place to do that. So sometimes they'll be out in the open, but maybe when it's bad weather, they'll go inside their shelter, whatever that is. They also have to get their food from either a plant or other animals in order to survive. And those are the two main things that they have to do. So let's look at our Illinois River exhibit to help us make sure we know the difference and we can tell what's a plant and what's an animal. You guys ready to look? Let's go this way. All right, my friends. So now we're in the Illinois River exhibit. And an exhibit, the one we're looking at, is actually called a diorama. It's a big snapshot or picture in time. And this particular one shows some of the plants and the animals that would live around the Illinois River. So let's look at it and see if we can identify some plants and animals. So if everyone will look right up over here at this, right up in there, it's big, it's fuzzy, it's called a beaver. So my question is, is that an animal or is that a plant? What do you guys think? If you guessed an animal, you're right. It has to get its food and it has to go and find its shelter and it has to move around to find those things. Great job, my friend. Now, let's look behind the beaver at that green stuff that's up there with the kind of big round balls on it. That is called a giant burr reed. Now question is, is that a plant or an animal? Think about it. Does it move or does it not move? Well, if you guessed plant, you're right. Good job, my friends. Well, let's walk a little further down in the exhibit and let's look and see what else we can see why we're here. So we're going to come over here and we're going to look back over in there. That's called a river birch tree. Now my question is, is it a plant or an animal? If you guess plant, you're right. It's got green and it doesn't move. But now, look on this log right here. And is the log a plant or an animal? It's a plant, you're right. But what about the turtle sitting on top of it? What do you think it is? It's called a common slider. Is it a plant or an animal? Moves from place to place means it's an animal. Good job. Well, my friends, let's look down over in here. And you see this muscle? Some of you might call it a clamshell, but it's actually a muscle. And I want you to look at that muscle and see 
and that's a plain pocketbook muscle. Is it a plant or an animal? Think hard, because this is a little tricky. A muscle actually can move. It's just super slow. So it's an animal. And then you might have noticed the fish next to it. That's also an animal. Okay, my friends, let's look at one more. So we're gonna go all the way down to the other end of the exhibit. And we're gonna look at a little tiny thing that might actually be hard to see. So I want you to come right over here, my friends, and look right up here. My finger's just on the very bottom. And you can see it has wings in blue. It's called a dragonfly. Now tell me, is a dragonfly a animal or a plant? Well, since it has wings, that tells us it moves. So therefore, it's an animal. You're right, my friends. Great job. I think you've got this down now. And I know that you can probably go outside and you can look around and say, that's a plant and that's an animal. And I'll need you to do a great job. Well, my friends, thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.